So it looks like the federal government has enacted a um, a capital gains tax that's going to be effective uh, effective as of June 25th. So here's a little video on it. Let's uh, have a listen, and we'll talk about it after, like usual. All Canadians will continue to pay no capital gains tax when they sell their principal residence. Any money you make on the sale of your home is yours to keep. Second, the tax changes do not apply to the first $250,000 of capital gains every single year. The higher rate applies only to gains above this $250,000 threshold. That means most Canadians will still be able to sell successful investments without paying a higher rate. For example, a couple who own a rental property will pay no additional tax on the first $500,000 in profit from a sale. Third, we're increasing the lifetime capital gains exemption for those who sell their small business or farm. Gains of up to $1.25 million will now be tax-free. And fourth, to encourage innovation and job creation, we're introducing a new incentive for entrepreneurs that will reduce the amount of tax they pay on capital gains and increase the lifetime exemption on the sale of all or part of their business. In the end, and this is key, we estimate that only 0.13% of Canadians with an average annual income of $1.4 million will be affected by this change in any given year. But millions more, especially younger Canadians, will benefit from it. Taxing capital gains is not an inherently partisan idea. It's an idea that everyone who cares about fairness should support. In fact, the idea of taxing capital gains in Canada was first broached by the government of Prime Minister John Diefenbaker and his Royal Commission on Taxation, chaired by Kenneth Carter. In the Royal Commission's report, Carter memorably declared that fairness should be the most important objective of the tax system. He insisted, a buck is a buck is a buck. And Prime Minister Brian Mulroney raised the capital gains inclusion rate to 75%, higher than the rate we're establishing today. Cette semaine, notre proposition Okay, so I don't speak French, so I'm going to cut it off right there. So basically what she's trying to say is that this tax is going to help Canadians and it's only going to hurt one point. I think she said one point, sorry, 0.13 percent of people who make over one point four million dollars. Does any of you actually believe that? I mean, these are all nice words, but they have a really bad track record on following through with what they say. For example, building 4 million houses in five and a half years. They won't even tell you how many they've built this year because they know it's a low number and they're not on pace. Uh, emissions targets. Let's all let's not forget all the, the lies during the pandemic, which wasn't just the Canadian government, but they did it too. Anything that comes out of these folks' mouth is, uh, you know, what they call an old fashioned lie. I'd really like to hear in the comment section who actually believes that they're going to do this. Uh, definitely let me know what you think. Um, you know, as for like if, you know, no taxes on the sale of your principal house and less tax for entrepreneurs. Okay, that's good. But again, everything they say is a lie. And somehow I just have a feeling this is going to backfire and screw the average Canadian. Because if you guys haven't noticed, a lot of the times when they say, hey, we're going to go after and tax the rich, the rich is who is in power of our government. They're going to piss off their bosses. They're going to piss off their donors. 
No, they're not. They'll put up some tax and say, oh, we're coming after the rich. And then there's going to be some loopholes for all the rich to get around it. And then they're going to come out with another carbon tax increase or some stupid Netflix tax or a tax tax and a tax tax on tax. It's just, it's ridiculous. They just won't stop taxing people. And I don't believe for a second that this is going to hurt the rich. I have a feeling it's going to hurt us. But again, let me know what you guys think. I know this is a, a bit of a short video, but I just saw this as I was finishing up work. So uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think they're lying or do you think they're actually trying to do something good to help Canadians and piss off their donor, uh, the donor class? I'm really curious to see what, the, what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, for all of you who do like and subscribe to this channel, I really appreciate it and it really helps me grow. Um, Hopefully we can, you know, eventually become a big channel and I look forward to uh, going on that journey with all of you. Uh, thanks so much again for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.